Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Grease Pencil tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to go over the pixelate effect. Um, it's a super easy effect uh, to use and to implement, and we're going to animate it as well. And yeah, enough talking, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Grease Pencil or Blender. Uh, it should be called Grease Pencil now, right? So yeah, so when we come over here to draw, then we will take away the um, sensitivity on both of them, up the strength to one, and we'll go ahead and draw something. F to increase the size, and yeah. So now we have our terrible logo, All right? All right, let me save it really quick. All right. But you can read it so let's come over here and add the effect pixelate so we'll come over here to this little magic wand add effect the drop down pixelate now you don't see it and this is because we need to be in rendered mode so you can hold down z hit rendered on the top or you can come up here and select it and the other reason why we don't see it is because the size is too small so if we come over here to size X and size Y, we can jump it up to about 25, we can times it by 5, and you can see it is pixelated. Now, why would we use this ever? Well, it would be a cool intro if you are a gamer and you like pixel art or something like that. So, to make it more pixely, we can uncheck anti uncheck anti-aliasing and this basically if we zoom in I'll show you what anti-aliasing um, does this is anti-aliasing in effect it's trying to smooth out or give the illusion of smooth edges so when you zoom out really far it looks kind of smooth um, now with it um, unchecked you can see the difference right so you can see the very solid more pixely there it does kind of sometimes not do the job properly because these curves are really intense so just think about that uh, we can pixelate it more by drawing up to 50 and too much though you see we almost have completely lost the eye and then so much so that we are now in the low poly minecraft style video game so this is that same one anyways so yeah let's go ahead and add keyframes right there and on the first line and we'll make it a 67 60 second length so we'll change the end to 60 seconds and then at the very end we want the pixelate to be zero and then i'll add us a keyframe right there and if you can't see the keyframes you're like wait where did the keyframes go well we're in grease pencil so we need to change our mode on the timeline to dope sheep now you can see it whoa fancy fancy right so now let's go ahead and play our animation space to play boom looks pretty cool now typically you would want it to come in sooner and just hold for a bit so probably like right there so g to grab select all the keyframes and then push g to grab and if you want to animate them separately the x and the y to kind of have a cool little effect here like this or we can switch them around and yeah uh, if you want to as well you can an uh, animate the anti-aliasing I don't know why you'd want to do that but let's do that so we'll add anti-aliasing in the beginning and then right here we'll take it off cool so and there you go now it's gone now it goes from really blurry to crisp and clean and it's a pretty good animation so yeah cool thanks so much for watching that's it for this video if you guys want to see more quick tips i have a whole playlist uh, for you guys well it's blender but yeah so check it out subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you want to see more blender content or grease pencil or affinity or drawing or anything like that comment what you think or if you need help with anything in grease pencil i'd love to help you so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video